What is up, you guys, and welcome back to Ungeek. Happy New Year! First, yeah. first, first video ba natin to first ng 2020. Phone first video. phone video. So, balik tayo sa New Year, New Gear. Yon. Oh. And it rhymes. So. <laughs> new Year, New Gear. You and follow. We it. have something from Realme as mm. well. So, this is. As you can see, nakita nyo na 5i. So this is Realme 5i. It's the latest iteration from the series of the, the Realme 5 series, no? Uh, which and was released last year. Which was released last year. months back lang, actually. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we heard that this is going to be released in the Philippines really, really soon. So after you watch this, just a couple of days, lalabas na to. This is quite surprising for me personally. Mm. Because uh, at the start of the new year, yeah. there, there aren't any phones. Yes, that's true. Usually, they start releasing Feb yeah. or March. And most likely after MWC, right? That's after true. Mobile World Congress. Yeah. Right now, it's just like January. <laughs> we already have a new phone. We have already, yun nga, we already have a new phone. But, so, I am very um, curious mm. with this. No? Like, Kasi we've seen already the Realme 5. Mm. We loved it. We've seen the Realme 5 Pro. That one actually is one of our, I think, nanalo siya as, a, as a best mid right? Phone. Yeah. Best bang for buck phone. Ah, sorry, best us. bang for buck pala. Best bang for buck phone is the Realme 5 Pro, yeah. So before we delve into, you know, the mysteries of hmm. Realme 5i, let's unbox this baby for you. So it's fresh na fresh box from Realme Philippines. Thanks to our friends from Realme Philippines. We're going to be unboxing this to you right now. But before we do that, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. My subscribe link is here. The yeah, and you can see there's a button here. And then if you click that, please click also the notification bell so you know when we come out with a new video. And with that out of the way, let's go with the unboxing. Bam, bam, let's do this. Okay. So <laughs> it's a, it's a very yellow box. It's a very yellow box. <laughs> you know what it reminds me? It reminds me of um, the old Realme boxes, diba? uh, yung three, mm -hmm. and then um, yeah, yung, yung three and uh, three pro. Parang so ganyan. this one contains the manuals and the uh, sim ejector tool. So, sim ejector tool, may manual ba? But the manuals aren't there ah, okay, in this okay, particular. Okay. So, sim ejector tool, tapos manual dapat yan. Okay. So here's the phone. But yep. before we go, before into we go the phone, into the phone, yeah, let's see what's inside. The charger. Uh -huh. Again with the yellow. Ah, okay. Yes, of course, of course. Parang signature real mm. color. Even the uh, cable. Yeah. This is a micro USB. It's a micro USB. So yellow. Oh, okay. So now, again, no headphones. Realme doesn't include headphones. Yeah. And I think for a good reason, because most users don't really use their headphones. Uh, the headphones packed inside. Okay, okay. And plus, you and know, to cut down the costs. Cut down the costs. I think mm. that's that's really where the strength of Realme is. At the end of the day, it's the price. But before we even go to the price, because we let's go with the phone first. Mm. Okay. Seal. Oh, di ba? Iba pagka seal. And uh, if you can see already how luminescent it is, it's not the typical blue color. Oh. Oh, kamusta? oh okay. Kamusta okay. Dun? It's, huh? it's weird, eh. Like, okay, look at it for look at it from an angle. Yeah, like, you you you'll see some like rays. Para may mga like like a like a rays. It's they're like waves. Like waves, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Almost like a three D effect. Yeah, exactly. So I think it's part of the printing process, and mm. it's a like a pearlized. Actually, it's not it's not pearlized. I thought it was a pearlescent green, um, but it's not there. Eh. And I I really do love. It's it. hard to describe. But I, I really do love the color. I, I mean, really you, do love the color. Usually, you get phones that are uh, glass like they have glass like yeah. glossy backs that have. This is not funky yeah. looking colors. This is a bit matte. Huh? This is matte. Yeah. Uh, textured, mm -hmm. and it's very unique. It's very unique. Uh, it's a bit subtle, mm -hmm. but when you look at it, hmm. mm, yeah, yeah, that's right. And I think in in terms of color, in terms of the design as well, um, this is what I like about you know what Realme is doing. They're not afraid to go out of the usual. So aside from looks, mm. uh, at least aside from the back, which yeah. looks unique, yeah. from the front, it looks like the Realme 5. And even like the cameras, yeah. the setup, how it's lined up, uh, the buttons, yeah. it looks like the Realme, the Realme 5. 5. And it doesn't end there. Mm. The specs, at first glance, are almost like are almost like the Realme 5. Okay, so, so powering this one is uh -huh. a Snapdragon 665 processor. All right. Uh, this one has three gigs of RAM and mm -hmm. 64 gigs of storage. At least the one that come that will come in the Philippines. Yeah. There's also a 5,000 milliamp hour battery and almost the same quad camera setup. Uh -huh. You have uh, 12 megapixel main, uh -huh. 8 megapixel ultra wide, uh -huh. and uh, 
two 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 two. Yeah, so, so two, two MP macro, macro, two MP portrait, portrait or bokeh yeah. lens. So uh, what's the difference? It was a bit of a challenge mm-hmm, mm-hmm, to print. spot a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I finally found one after uh-huh. some time of pouring through the specs. Okay. The front camera on this phone mm-hmm. is eight megapixels. Eight megapixels, lang. Okay. Uh, the one on the Realme Five mm-hmm. has thirteen. All right. So. So uh, it has like a lower bit of uh, mm, front camera yeah. for this, no? You're getting an 8 megapixel instead of a 13, mm-hmm. but almost exactly the same. The same. I also fix. heard that the um, the battery for this has a function mm. that's usually reserved for flagship phones, mm. the reverse charging. Ah, oh, this is the reverse charging. Diba? Yeah. Exactly. So parang that's that's something I guess useful. Yeah, uh, because it is a 5000 mAh power yeah. battery phone. Yeah. So now we've talked about the specs and how it's almost exactly the same as the Realme 5 yes. but with a different front camera. Hmm. Now, why? Ano why? Ay nga eh. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> so, why did they decide to go for that? Okay. And why 5i? 5 Pro, you have the 5 Pro. Yeah. You have the 5. The 5. And then the 5i. The 5i. I. So, I think it's a an even cheaper or an even more budget-friendly model than the, than the 5. 5. Do you think so as well? Most likely for me, huh? Mm. it could be. Um, I think a lot of people have this misconception that as long as there's a letter after the number, it's more expensive. But from our experience with, I don't know, I guess it's, I, I don't know what's with the I. I Parang, think, what does I mean that makes it a little bit budget friendlier than the regular? For example, uh, if you want to jump to another brand, for example, uh, Huawei, hmm. but they have the Nova series. Um, the Nova 3 and then the Nova 3i, and then you have the 5 and the 5i. Oh, yung I palagi mas mura ng konti. Well, I think you're right. Like usually, when there's, you have a base variant, mm. uh, the more expensive variant would either get a plus or mm. a pro, a plus uh, or a pro, or or suffix. or their suffix, or if the the letters would be capitalized, mm. para di ba, like Z or T. Yeah. Eh. But for a low uh, or a more budget friendly model, mm. would either get a light, L I T E, or I. Yeah. Ah. So, bakayong yung I means light. Maybe. <laughs> so, are you in agreement that I will most likely be a more ako, budget friendly ako, model? My money is on that. And my money and is, how much is the, the Realme 5? Uh, the Realme 5, the, Realme 5 the, the base model, which is a, an online exclusive one, the 3 gig yeah. RAM, 32 gig yeah. storage version was 6990. Okay. Mag fearless forecast ako. Mm. Feeling ko, and this is just me, mm. feeling ko under 6000 to. Like, okay. like 5990. That might be my that's that might be my price. Diba? Makes sense because uh, hey, you do uh, you get a slightly lower mm. uh, megapixel count for the uh, front camera, mm. but aside from that, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. If that's the case, this I is can, a this is a great I can see know. this phone being a big hit. Yeah, especially for mobile gamers who just want a device that they can play on. Yeah, for like. Less than six thousand pesos. Yeah. Even if they, uh, for those gamers who don't really care much about like, selfie cameras, selfie cameras. Yeah. Because like for me, for, for example, mm. I don't take selfies. Mm. I only take selfies for phone reviews. Okay. Or if I'm with friends, like oh selfie tayo. Yun yung sabi niya. Na joke lang. <laughs> oh ibuk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but seriously, I don't take selfies. So uh, the selfie camera is one of the least yeah. of my priorities mm. when it comes to getting a. Uh, uh, set smartphone. Smartphone, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I'm sure a lot of people are the same. Mm. Especially for like gamers who just want to play Mobile Legends. Mm, mm. Like for hours on end, they're not gonna care much about like posting self. They'd rather share their game. Yeah, in, in total agreement with that as well. And what I like is that they still get the quad camera. They still get the they quad camera. They didn't get rid of like one. Yeah. Or they didn't downgrade. Actually, that's, the... re- that's really good, no? Parang it's halos the same yung yung rear camera niya, yung, yeah. yung main because camera. Because if you niya. ask me, what would I prefer to downgrade? Selfie camera. Oh, anyway. that's right. Um, that's what people usually mm. use less. Eh. So I think um, it's great that Realme actually listens to their market. Mm. For me, uh, that's that's one indicator, um, and that's also an indicator of where I feel 
or, or, or why I feel the brand is growing really, really strong right now is because they continue to listen to their market and mm. they, they they continue to put their ears on the ground. Ako, I'm feeling that this is going to be such a big hit, particularly at the start of the year. Yeah. Um, lots of people are looking for phones. Um, this could be a contender. Um, in fact, at this point, it might be a good contender already for you know budget phone. Let's see. It's oh, it's just really early. Player, I know. I know. It's really very early. early. But a lot of for the price point, kasi parang maybe dude. first half of the year, maybe. Honestly, so, ako, if this if they actually launch this phone for less than five, malaking <laughs> I, I doubt. I doubt. But if they were able to do that. It's insane. Grabe naman. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, wow. Sabi natin, 499. Grabe, di ba? Parang, what? Tapos ganyan? Maybe there'll be a sale. Maybe there'll be a sale. Uh, it'll go down to oh, Most likely, what we can already expect is that with Realme, um, it's usually bundled on the first day when this launches. Um, it's going to be bundled by a lot of other stuff. Yeah. Maybe there's a little, bit, a little bit of discount here and there. Maybe it's going to be an online exclusive. Mm. They have been partnering up with Lazada and with Shopee and with all of these um, online platforms. And usually, um, you know, what you want to do if you really want to get your hands on this is to follow um, the pages. Follow Realme uh, Philippines in their Facebook page so you know or you can get updated kagad when they launch their promo mechanics. Of course, uh, keep it locked here at Angeek as yep. well because we'll be reporting more on the uh, Realme 5i uh, very, very soon. So before we end, guys, uh, what do you think? Would you buy one of these? If it's a phone that costs less than six thousand, and do you agree with us that uh, if anything, you would prefer to uh, downgrade the selfie camera over mm. any other That's uh, true. feature? So let us know in the comment section down below. And with that, we will see you guys on the next one. My name is Colin Nico. Thank you so much for helping out with this unboxing, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Keep on gaming, peeps. Bye bye.